Ow, I just hit my hand. Hey guys, what's up? It's Shelby and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my eyeshadow palette collection. Um, yeah, it's not going to be like a makeup tutorial or anything. It's just going to be kind of a sit down. I'm going to show you guys all my palettes, my favorite palettes, ones I don't reach for, ones I reach for the most. So yeah, that's all I have to say. So let's just get right into this video. So I have my eyeshadow palettes over here in this little container thingy. I mean, it's like a little drawer thing that you pull out. Um... I keep the top row is like all my neutrals and stuff, um, like all my like neutral palettes and then on the bottom it's my more colorful palettes, so yeah. So starting on the top row, I have pretty much all my Morphe palettes. These are all my Morphe palettes, I believe there's something stuck to the bottom of that one. <laughs> These are all my Morphe palettes, so I have the Morphe 35F palette. I don't reach for this one too often anymore. But I do really love the shimmers in this palette. It is mostly shimmers. Like, there's only one. This is, like, the only row of mattes. And then the rest are shimmers. So, if I'm, like, looking for, like, a shimmer and I don't know, like, which one to use, I will open this palette up and um, dig in. Because, like I said, these are all shimmers and then the one row of mattes. Um... But I am so a math person, so I don't really reach for that as much. I actually got it for a Christmas gift a couple years ago. Then I have my Morphe 35O palette. Um, you guys would have seen this quite a bit in my um, Halloween week. Because uh, I do reach for these oranges a lot right here. Because I really, really like them. And there's a couple cooler tone shades here. So, um, yeah. I do reach for this one a bit. If I'm looking for like an orange look, I will go into this palette. And then we have my Jaclyn Hill palette. It is so freaking dirty. Like, oh my god. I don't even remember this ever being white. Um, but I have used this palette a whole lot. I love this, these red shades and this purple shade for FX makeup. They are the perfect tone. Um, I don't really reach for any of the colors. Like, these, this little area right here, I don't ever reach for those very often. Um, I don't know why. I just have better <laughs> colors. But um, this is actually the first palette that I um, bought from Morphe with my own money so yeah and of course my baby the Morphe um Jeffree Star palette oh my god I love it I reach for this all the freaking time it is one of my favorite palettes the only shade I don't use is this glitter shade right here um I just don't like glitters like it is a gorgeous but it's it's a gorgeous shade but I just don't use glitter um eyeshadows all that often i don't really like glitter <laughs> all right and then i have all of these so um i actually do have another morphe palette my friend actually gave this to me um because she never really used it so i have this one it is pretty neutral i usually take this if i am gonna like go somewhere and i know i'm not gonna do a colorful look i will just take this because it does have everything you need in a neutrals palette and it does have a mirror so and this is the first palette that i got that was on the higher end this is my the rock pro 3 palettes oh my goodness i loved this it's probably expired to be honest like it doesn't say when it expires but these are the softest eyeshadows i have ever felt in my life um <laughs> but yeah this was this is my baby i haven't used this in so long but i used to use it every day and then we have my Bad Habit Retro Love Palette. It looks like this. Um, it's the Subculture by ABH. It's their um, dupe palette. But I do like this one a lot. I really, really do. I love the shadows in this. They are really, really nice. This shade right here is the most intense gold shade I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> like, it is so freaking nice. Like... Oh, it's like the most intense gold I have ever used. And then we have my Dream Street Kathleen, L Kathleen Lights X Color Pop. Um, this is probably my baby as well. I love Kathleen Lights so much. She's one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, so I bought this right away. I absolutely love it. this palette. It is so good. And this red shade is so soft and it is so intense. Like... It is crazy intensely pigmented. <laughs> then I have the Profusion Mattes palette. This is the 10 shade mattes eyeshadow palette. I don't use this as much. I mostly bought this for um, dance competitions so I could use it on other people because I needed so much in my um, cart when I ordered from Profusion to um, get free shipping. So I added this into my cart to get free shipping. Um, but like I said, I don't really reach for it that often because a lot of these shades are in the bigger mattes palette that I reach for more often. 
And then I have my Profusion Sultry palette. I do pick this up quite a bit because I really like the green shimmer shades and the blue shimmer shades in this. I think they are so stunning on the eyes. Um, and this purple and stuff right here, like this deep purple, is so nice. Um, yeah, I really like this palette. I love Profusion eyeshadow palettes. They have just been killing it with their eyeshadow palettes. And then I have my Soap X highlighter palette in the top as well. Um... I just don't have anywhere else to put this because my other highlighters are single ones, so they sit somewhere else. So I keep this on the top of my eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> All right, now for the color palettes. Some of them aren't color really. They're just more the palettes that I reach for more often. They aren't like neutral like the rest of them. Like I know the Jeffree Star one isn't, but I like it in that one. I'm just, I don't know. I keep it with my Morphe palettes. Um, but these ones, some of them aren't super colorful, but they aren't neutral either, so I keep them in this one. So we have the Bad Habit Athena 18 Color Eyeshadow Collection. This is the, um, I don't even know what it's called, but it's one of the Huda Beauty, um, I think it's a Desert Dusk palette dupe. Um, again, the only one, the only shade I don't really use is this glitter shade right here. I tried it once and I was good. I don't like glitters, <laughs> but I love this palette. Um, it makes a really awesome like um sunset look um i just will go in with a different yellow because it doesn't have a yellow but the orange and like the purple and the red in it just make the most beautiful um sunset look <laughs> i love this palette this palette is the afrique by juvia's place palette oh i freaking love it the only shades i don't like is this blue um, it, it's good if you're just gonna pack it somewhere, but once you start blending, it goes away. But the rest of the shades are freaking awesome. I love these two shimmer shades, the green and the gold. Again, the gold in this is freaking insane. Like, they are so similar, but, oh, I love it. And here's the green, like, I just love it. And they are so awesome. The yellow in this is, like, my favorite yellow. As you can tell, I have hit pan on it, um... But yes, I love this palette so much. And we have my Soph X Revolution Extra Spice palette. Again, it's not super neutral, so I keep it um, in here because it's got like all these shades like right here. Again, this is a really good palette for a um, sunset look, but the red in this and the, um, what is it? The Athena palette is a little bit better because in here there's more like a purple instead of like a red. So it just depends on what you want. But yeah, I love this palette and I do reach for this one quite a bit. And this is the, actually the first colorful palette I ever bought. This is the Take Me Back to Brazil by BH Cosmetics. As you can see, I have hit pan in several eyeshadows. Um, I freaking love this palette so much. I think the shadows just blend out beautifully and they are so pigmented. I will definitely repurchase this um, once I pretty much run out of it. Um, so yeah. And then we have my BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette, which looks like this. Again, I have hit pan in a couple shadows. Um, yeah, these are just absolutely stunning eyeshadows. Like, the pink in this is, like, the most intense hot pink I have ever seen. Like, I love it so much. Um, it is absolutely gorgeous, and I love it. <laughs> and I have, I keep, I like to keep all my eyeshadow palettes that are, like, the same you know, like, I keep all my Morphe palettes together, and I keep all my Sof X palettes together. Um, this is the Sof X, uh, this is, like, the first one she came out with, which looks like this. Um, I absolutely love this. I use this one quite a bit, actually, but, um, yeah, I keep this with my other Sof X palette just because that's just who I am. <laughs> this is the only one that isn't technically a colorful palette. This is the Mattes palette by Profusion. This is the bigger one. Um, I absolutely love this palette. I use this palette, like, all the time. Um, this is the only one that isn't, um, a colorful palette, pretty much. Um, but I really, really love this. It is so beautiful, and the, the mattes in it are just absolutely stunning. I do use it quite a bit, so I keep it in that one. So, then I have the Profusion Berries palette, um, which is, like, their pink. I absolutely love this. Um... They are so good, like, I can't even explain it. Like, the pinks in it are just so bright and so, like, they just pop on your eyes. I have my Wet n Wild Pac-Man um, eyeshadow palette. This is the Game Over, and it is broken, if you saw 
that video you know this is what it looks like the yellow in it is awesome and i love this deep blue right here it is so good these two shadows do stain your eyes though um and the orange in it is also really good i have the nyx ultimate edit eyeshadow palette this is like the little colorful one um i really like this one i really like the green in this it is really really nice and the pink in it is pretty nice the yellow is almost an orange yellow though like let's see where can i swatch it this is like a orange color it's not super yellow, but it, it, it's good. And then I have this one. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> I'm actually going to give this away to probably my mom or my sister for Christmas. This is the Color Spell Atlantis palette. Um, if you didn't see this video, um, you should go check it out. These are awful. <laughs> Some of them are good. Some of them are not. Like, my mom doesn't really care, and neither does my sister. She doesn't really care. They don't do, like, super intense eye looks. They, like, take one shade and throw it on the lid and call it a day. So they don't really care about blendability and all that. So I probably will give it to one of those two for Christmas, depending on who I need presents for. <laughs> and then I have this guy. This is the Profusion Spectrum Palette. Um, this is like their colorful palette. It is a good palette if you aren't going to blend the shadows together. Like, if you're just packing the shadows on, they work beautifully. But once you start to blend them, they kind of blend away. Like I said, if you are just like trying to pack on a color, it does work really, really well. So, um, but the shade Peacock, they feel so soft too. The shade Peacock though is my shit. Like, oh, they swatch pretty nice. Um, but that shade is so beautiful. I love it. But like I said, it just, you know. It's kind of a hit and miss. The last eyeshadow palette that I have that does not sit with the rest of them is the It's My Ray Ray BH Cosmetics palette because I use this for the bronzers and sometimes the highlighters. It just depends, but it is an eyeshadow palette too. The eyeshadows in this are really nice. I do take this if I'm going to go, um, like if I know I want to use a little bit more of color because it does have like the pink and the purple and stuff in it. I will take this traveling because it does have a bronzer and a highlighter in it. So it just depends. And it does have a mirror and it folds up really nicely, but I keep this by my bronzers and stuff because I do mostly use it for that. Alright guys, that is my eyeshadow palette collection. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I post on Mondays and Thursdays at 1.30 Central Time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you guys want to see next down below. Also, don't forget to follow all my social medias. They are also all linked down below as well, and I will see you guys in my next video.